Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve most blue screen errors you're going to be receiving on your Windows computer. So, there are many different kinds of errors you could be getting that result in blue screens. So, even though there might be one specific visible problem you're having on your computer, there's a multitude of issues that could have caused it. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to make a very general video about how to hopefully resolve this problem without too much of a hassle. And I would definitely recommend trying this and it's not too labor intensive and it shouldn't take more than a couple hours of your time at most. So I do want to put out a little disclaimer before we really jump into the video. We're going to be going through the different automatic repair troubleshooting options that are in Windows. So in this tutorial, I have already just powered off my computer doing a hard power off three times in a row and that will automatically launch the automatic repair utility in my case. If you're unable to get to the screen that says automatic repair, your PC did not start correctly, I would recommend downloading the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility which is a free utility provided through Microsoft's website. And what this will basically let you do is download the Windows 10 ISO file to a DVD or a USB flash drive, as long as it has a reasonable amount of size to it. And you want to boot your computer off of that recovery media. And that will give you plenty of options to go through different troubleshooting methods I'm going to be going through in this video. So like I said, I would first recommend that you guys just try and power off your computer three times in a row doing a hard power reset so just hold down the power button on your computer and then hopefully it'll launch this troubleshooting menu if that does not work for you guys and you're stuck at a black screen or something along those lines I'd recommend going with the alternative method to getting to this utility and just manually downloading the ISO file from the internet and I have made numerous tutorials in that subject matter in the past and you are more than welcome to go check them out before you jump into this video too far so you're going to get an error saying your PC did not start correctly. Press restart to restart your PC, which can sometimes fix the problem. In our case, obviously it has not. But we can also see here, it says you can also press advanced options to try other options to repair your PC. So at this point, left click on the advanced options button right next to restart. So it should be the right option. Underneath choose an option, left click on troubleshoot. Now that we're underneath the troubleshooting window, select Advanced Options. Now there's a few different methods we're going to go through in this tutorial. The first one will be to select System Restore. Should be the top left item there. So you're going to get a little dialog window saying that System Restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System Restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. I think this is an important point to note. Um, if you do know any programs that you might have installed recently that are causing this issue, I would highly recommend if you can boot into safe mode and try and uninstall the program or whatever you can do to remedy whatever you knowingly did. If for a majority of you guys, I'm assuming, do not know what caused it, you will select next. So we see that we have one system restore point currently created on this computer. If you have multiple, you could select any other restore point listed in this drop down list. So I would recommend trying to back up to the most recently created restore point and then just go backward from there. But I would try doing the more recent one first and then select next. This will just confirm that you're going to restore back to this specific timestamp and which computer drive it affects. And please keep in mind it says if you've changed your Windows password recently, we recommend that you create a password reset disk. So just keep that in the back of your head before you do this. And then left click on finish. And then you'll receive a warning saying once started system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Please keep in mind you cannot interrupt the system restore once it has begun. So what you want to do is select yes here and this will begin to initialize this, the system restore. So just be patient, this will take a couple minutes to run. So once it's done, I will be right back. 
Okay, so we can see the system restore has completed successfully, and we can see the date and time that it's been restored to. These are documents that have not been affected. Click Restart button to restart your computer. So let the computer restart. If for some reason that you are not able to boot into Windows 10 normally, um, I have another alternative method, and it will involve going back into the troubleshooting menu that we were previously in. So we're just going to go fast forward back to the troubleshooting menu for you guys who this did not work for again. Okay, so again, underneath Automatic Repair, select Advanced Options. Underneath Choose an Option, select Troubleshoot. Underneath Troubleshoot, select Advanced Options. This time, select the bottom left option that says Start or Prepare. Fix problems that keep Windows from loading. So left click on that. So this will take a little bit of time to run. This tool is pretty automatic, so it should take it from here for the most part. So once it's done running, just restart your computer to see if your computer is now able to boot into Windows. If it is not, um, I do have one more method we can try, and it, it will involve us going back into the troubleshooting menu, which we're going to go to right now. Okay, everyone, so assuming that did not work, um, our third and final option today is going to be selecting advanced options. So select that button right there. Select Troubleshoot underneath Choose an Option. Select Advanced Options. The top right tile should say Command Prompt. So you want to left click on that. Okay, so the first thing we should do is type our main hard drive here. In most cases it should be the C drive. So you just do a C colon and then hit enter on your keyboard. So once you're underneath the C drive, we're going to type in DIR and then hit enter on your keyboard. It should have program files, users, and Windows all in there. That's how you know you're in the right directory. In some cases it might be the D drive as well, so just keep that in mind. Next thing we're going to do is type in cd space forward slash windows forward slash system32 forward slash config and then you're going to hit enter on your keyboard. So now you're going to type md space backup if you've seen other tutorials, it might also say to put down MD Backup. Um, that's because the backup name is pretty common when you want to back something up. So you can name this whatever you want. It doesn't have to be Backup. So if you've already made a backup folder in the past, you could do Backup 1, for example. So once you're done setting the name you want the backup to be called, hit Enter on your keyboard again. At this point you want to type copy, C-O-P-Y, space, then you want to do the star symbol above the E key, then do a period or a dot, whatever you want to call it, then another star sign, and then another space, and then type backup, and then hit enter on your keyboard. Now you want to type CD, reg, back R E G B A C K and then hit enter on your keyboard. So now that we are under the reg back, so now you want to type D I R again and then hit enter. So now at this point we're going to type copy again. So copy space star sign 
dot, another star sign, space, and then two dots. So we're going to type copy, space, star sign, dot, sign, star sign, dot, dot, and then hit enter on your keyboard again. So for overwrite, you want to overwrite all. So type A on your keyboard, so capital A, and then hit enter on your keyboard. So at this point, you should be good to go. You can close out of the command prompt window. And if you accidentally continue to Windows 10, you should be all set. So I hope one of these three or four different methods we went through in this tutorial helped you guys out. Again, I'm not sure if you guys heard me earlier, but try to go back into your safe mode if possible and uninstall any programs you know might be conflicting with the Windows startup if you can get into safe mode. So just keep that in mind. Something very simple like that could be blocking up everything. So again, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.